Hey, it's Paul with Back to Primal, and today I want to share with you some movements that you can do every day and all throughout your day that's going to help keep your body mobile, open, and feeling good. These are simple moves anybody can do. There's no prescribed uh, how many reps or how many sets or anything like that. You just do as many as feels good for your body in that moment. And these movements are really good for if you've been sitting stagnant for a while, maybe at the computer desk at work, maybe you've been watching a little too much TV, sitting on the couch stagnant at home, you can get up and do these movements to get your joints moving, get your body opened up. Our first movement up is our arm circles or shoulder circles. We can start off with our hands right here down by the side, kind of lowest intensity. And we're just gonna shrug and circle our shoulders. Again, there's no prescribed um, you know, amount of repetitions. You could do 10, 20, 50, 100, whatever feels good in that moment. And again, it's recommended to do this all throughout the day. You know, maybe every couple of hours you get up and you move your arms and get your uh, arm circles in, get those shoulders moved in. And then we go backwards the other way. And you can change the rhythm up. And they don't have to be moving at you know, the exact same um, you know, duration and stuff, right? You can change up the coordination. And just move them. We kind of start moving them a little bit more free, maybe just a little bit up and down. And then we can start bringing the arms out. And we can start with some small arm circles. And then gradually make them bigger. So we're at this full range of motion, getting our hands way up over our head. It's important that we spend some time in this overhead position. And then of course, we can go back the other way, start nice and small, gradually getting these circles larger and larger. Another thing I'd like to add in for the arms is just doing some arm swings. Another really good one. And it starts to move your chest muscles, move your back muscles a little bit more. And you get this little bit of a sway to sway. And it's a nice kind of precursor for our next movement. Okay, our next movement is our trunk twist, side to side. And we're just gonna let our arms just kind of swivel, tap the body. It's great for the lower back. You can open up the chest more. Helps with that thoracic spine as well. And just keep your breathing natural on all these movements. They're all just natural movements. So we don't have to you know, be particular on anything. You could put a little bit more, get a little bit more vigorous with it if you choose to, or just keep it nice and relaxed. Whatever feels good to you in the moment. You could even plant your feet, look behind you, try to look at that tree behind me or something just find a little spot now for our last movement we're gonna bring the feet wider than hips and shoulders you can have your hands out however you like for counterbalance we're just gonna come down into a horse stance and then come back up Again, you can do this for 
five reps, 10 reps, 50 reps, 100 reps, whatever you want in the moment. And we're not being super strict with like, you know, a super strict martial arts horse stance. You can lean the torso forward a little bit more. It's gonna help you get deeper in those hips. So we're just working those main trouble areas from sitting all day, from being stagnant all day, working our shoulders, our spine, our hips. We'll do a little bit of hamstrings as well. You see, I'll just kind of play around with different hand movements and see how that changes you know, the position in the body. And just take your time. So whatever feels good, whatever your body needs. Even come down and kind of twist it a little bit. And then we can come on down into our squat as deep as we can go. Spend some time in our squat. Then we've got that full hip flexion. The knee is compressed all the way, working our ankles. And what we wanna do is just, just try to keep our chest opened up and keep the back straight as much as we can. There's a little bit of rounding in the spine here, that's okay. And just spend a little bit of time here in your squat position. Why you can even kind of reach up. No big deal if your heels come off the ground. Try reaching behind. Now just kind of play here. And then we're just gonna come up and do a forward pull. You can keep the knees soft, put your palms onto the ground, keep your knees bent, keep them soft. You can work on straightening them. And then we're just gonna kind of move nice and easy between squat and standing forward fold. Get a nice little stretch in the hamstrings. And again, just do this for as many reps as feels good. And whenever you need it throughout the day. There you got it. Just a couple of upper body and some lower body mobility movement. Again, just wanna re-emphasize that there's no prescribed amount of reps or sets. Just do this throughout the day, many times throughout the day, keep the body moving, especially if we're sitting stagnant for too long at the job or you know, kind of end up becoming a little bit of a couch potato or something. Get up every few hours and move your body. If you like this video, if you find these movements to be helpful, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which area of your body do you feel needs the most work. Is it your shoulders, your spine, maybe your hips or your hamstrings. Let me know. If you're new here to the channel, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you back here next time for some more movement.